In this trial, you only deliver the exclusive stuff. One of them being this Discovery 5, which is a big brother to the Discovery 4, or rather, the small brother to the Discovery 4. Let us discuss in this video uh, the features, the changes that have been done, what is new, uh, what is different, what is good, what is bad, and uh, does it hold its value or does it hold the the name of the Discovery 4 as the tradition. And as always, my name is Bright, and on this channel we focus on everything about cars. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and stick around so that you don't miss out on stuff like this. So let's start off with the design. There's a lot of changes when it comes to the design of the new Discovery. Uh, the headlights are different. The dimensions back here are also different. And the shape. We can see the boxy shape is now fading away very slowly. They have a subtle curvature on the body design of the entire vehicle. Starting from the rear side, we usually have this hump that is found at the top of the vehicle to increase headroom. It's now a bit sloppy, so you don't really see that boxy design anymore. It's starting to go away. The second thing is uh, something is going on over here. I can't really explain what it is but it looks weird to me because uh, it's sort of an extension of the body from the just right from the tire all the way to the back we see a certain extension I guess it's, it's its purpose is to increase the space that is found on the inside of the vehicle because it's a seven seater carrying seven passengers you need all that space that you can get so let's move around the back and see uh, some things that have been uh, already maintained we have the discovery emblem written on the back it is also found at the front as well so it's shouting from a distance away that i am a discovery look at the headlights design very different from the one that we found in the previous vehicle they are now sleeker they are slimmer and extending the way all the way to the side of the vehicle as opposed to the way it was vertically positioned at the side of the car progressing on to the side of the vehicle I can notice by my eyes that there's a definitely an increase in the wheelbase of the vehicle or an increase in the length from the side profile. It seems extended at the back. Like I did mention that extra room for the rear passengers. So we can definitely notice there is an extension for the rear side. Uh, side steps are available for you, for both the passengers at the front and at the back. and. Um, the tires, these are 21 inches on these wheels, 21 inches is des definitely decent. At the front you can notice a resemblance to the Range Rover Sport. It's moving closer and closer to what the Range Rover actually looks like. You can see the emblem at the front uh, saying Discovery as well. I love the look at the headlights. Uh, with the daytime running lights, they have a very appealing stunt. Also notice the color of this windshield. It's something that I've seen in the modern vehicles. I'm yet to know what the purpose of this is, but if you do know what the purpose of this coloring on the windshield, do make a comment in the comment section below to let others like us be aware of that. I've seen this in Audi, I've seen this in the new S-Class and other luxury cars. So down below, I can see the vents, which are actual real vents. They allow aeration of the engine. This is powered by a turbo V6. It's a diesel engine, of course. Okay, this is weird because this side is not a real vent, but the other side is a real vent. That's interesting. Otherwise, you have parking sensors available. You also have your headlight washers uh, that can come out or stay back in when you don't need them. And that's it for the exterior of the vehicle. So my overall opinion about the exterior is it's definitely looking modernized. The look is amazing, except for this part at the back here, which I it's a bit controversial for me. I don't I don't know how I feel about it, but the rest of the vehicle is perfect. It's amazing. So let's move on to the inside. Inside this car, you also notice the resemblance to the Range Rover. First of all, look at the steering look at the center console as well it definitely resembles 
that of a Range Rover. So I think they are moving away from the rigidness that you find in the traditional SUVs. Same case applies to the uh, Land Rover. What do you call this car? Land Rover. Same case applies to the Defender. They took away some bits of it being rigid and did some modernization on it. Sunroof Ikosawa, you can see it's available for the front and the back as well so people at the back of the vehicle can also enjoy the light that comes from the sunroof. The, the interior is entirely white and this is something that is very common or very usual in Range Rovers. They have that blend of white and black but this is not black, this is some sort of brown. You might not notice it on camera but if you take a personal look you'll see if you take a look in person not personal look you'll notice that it's actually some tint of brown climate controls for the rear seat passengers and they can also control the climate for their seats that is heating and cooling which is amazing five volt sockets you can charge your phone or other accessories that you have you have this storage cabinet over here you can open to store your stuff this material right here is very soft, feels nice when you touch it and warm, especially in such a cold weather like this. The rear seat passengers can also adjust, you can adjust your recline using this control over here. And then since it's a seven seater, you can use these buttons over here to launch the third row. So when I press on this like that and I hold it, you can see the rear seats are now coming all the way up. So you can have that extra room for two more passengers and i mentioned in the video about the discovery for that the passengers at the rear seat can be adults as well as children and like most seven seater vehicles where you'll find that adults will not be very comfortable in that rear seat awesome the back here is actually comfortable for me and keep in mind that this front this seats at the second row are actually moved a little bit back so if they move in front just a little bit like that i can have all the leg room that i need to be comfortable back here so the discovery 5 does actually hold up to its value for having a comfortable rear seats or third row seat for the adults or the children and you can decide to squeeze even three people back here so it can also be an eight seater if you have to uh, hold up an extra person when you come to the rear side you'll notice or rather the trunk you'll notice that you have a lot of controls over here to assist you uh, some of these are to like the ones over here are to fold these seats in case you want to use them as trunk space you can fold all of them and then get that extra room for uh, parking stuff in your in your trunk otherwise the rest I like this one which is height adjustment maybe you have heavy luggage you're trying to load in the trunk and if in case you haven't noticed this height is a bit high especially for someone who is short you can decide to lower the vehicle further by pressing this button over here so given that it has air suspensions uh, right now it's moving to the ground and lower it goes till i can have that the loading height system is pretty range rover like high quality responsive and uh, very crisp so you can see at the press of the buttons everything is working at uh, high speeds yeah maybe not that you can choose the call function and other stuff it has a lot of stuff over there the ac controls are controlled using these buttons and a knob to adjust the temperature accordingly and the fan speed as well I love it's in buttons, not on a screen. And then at the center, you have your terrain control, which on uh, the Range Rover, if you do this, it's gonna be automatic, but I'm not sure if that's applying to this as well. But I can choose terrain according to that. And then height control is at the center over here. Yeah, I think that's it for the video.